Gregor, we just finished your last session of block one. How was it out there? Yeah, the session was, was tough. Um, even tough for the management because we, we did a little fitness uh, rep at the end as the players were uh, finished their day. Oh, it's, it's been really good. Like the, the whole block in its entirety has, has shown, the, shown the players in a really good light. Um, they've formed really strong bonds with each other. They've worked hard, but we've also been able to work a lot on the, the skill side of it, individual skills, our forwards and backs, um, our attacking side of the game and, and the defence. Um, and we've enjoyed spending time with each other, so no, they've, they've earned their holiday now. Why have you structured the training camps the way you have in terms of having this first blo a block of a mini camp and then going into a two-week break? Well, the whole goal with, with our mini camp and then when we come back in in two weeks is to be in the best possible rugby condition for when we take on South Africa. Um, so the players coming in, working on skills, their fitness, um, their team bonding, it was really important um, that we did that over these four weeks but also where the players need some downtime. Um, they've worked very hard, their bodies need to adapt um, and get the benefits of, of what they've done during that four weeks. Uh, and that two week break will be great for them mentally. So they'll come back in fresh uh, in two weeks time. And when we do come in, we're, we're three weeks away from, from playing Italy, um, getting closer to that, that game on September the 10th. And we feel the players have moved on in terms of their rugby over the last few weeks. And we need to move on again when we come back together. The last week of this block has been spent in Nice, obviously. Why was that important to come out here? Yeah, well, we're, we're obviously using this time to, to check out our base. This, this World Cup is unusual. The first time that um, you actually have a base for the whole of your pool games. Uh, and we want to make it feel like home. Um, we've been very lucky that we've been able to take the whole hotel that we're staying in. So the player's sanctuary for them to relax, to use recovery facilities there. Uh, while well, we are demanding a lot of them on the field um, in this period and also uh, as we go through the World Cup. So it's been great to get to used, used to this um, area uh, and our training facility here at Nice and our hotel which is 20-30 minutes away um, but also to get the players feedback on what we need to do to, to improve it when we come in during the World Cup. When we come into that block two of training, what's, that, what's those couple of weeks going to look like for you? Well the, the first week will, will be similar to what we've done, we'll have our full squad by then, um, and we just have to adapt when, when, when you've got 40, 41 players to when we've had um, closer to 30 um, fully training just now. But they, they, we will be building towards that Italy game, so the, the, the 15 that is likely to start in that game will start working together more often. Um, we'll be doing rugby intense activities. And the conditioning element will start to, to drop out and the rugby focus will start to get bigger as we go towards that Italy game. As a coach, how much are you looking forward to getting into that second block and having the games to look forward to? Because obviously the, the fitness is one thing, but the games is obviously something that you must really relish. Yeah, look, I will look forward to that. Nothing beats playing and we've got three games at Murrayfield and one game in France against the World Cup host, so it's, it's a brilliant sequence of games to, to go into. But coaches, we do love this period. You can train as hard on a Thursday, Friday as you do on a Monday, Tuesday. You can do a lot of skill work and development of parts of your attack um, from our perspective or defence um, from Steve uh, or the set piece from Peter and, uh, and John that you don't get to do in a, in a test week um, because test week's about cohesion and making sure the players are ready to go and fresh for that weekend's game so yeah we'll look forward to the games but we'll, we will miss this time we've had with the players at, at building them improving them and, and working them really hard